you figured that people wanted to hear from him over the holidays, so you approached him to release. He, he felt comfortable releasing a statement, and it's a statement of thanks. What is it? What is it? And what did he say when you asked him to release the statement? Well, I, I had asked him to him that I thought it would be important that everybody knows how we feel and everybody's looking to see what, how we're doing, what we're doing on these first holidays. And uh, at first I asked him if he would go on camera and he said no, he wasn't comfortable with that yet. But then I asked him how about releasing the statement and he said, yeah, I could do that. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So he did and I was pretty proud of him. That's a huge step, don't you think, that he would that even releasing a statement? It is. And, you know, for him, I think that's just another way for him to express himself to everybody that he's not doesn't have a chance to talk to and doesn't be able to go on camera because he's not comfortable with it. But yet it's his way of letting everybody know how he is feeling and how he's doing. You want to share that statement with us? Yes, I do. So this, the holiday this year means everything to me because I haven't had a chance to enjoy any in such a long time. I spent five Thanksgiving and five Christmases missing the people that I love and knowing how much they must be missing me. This is another important step in reconnecting with his family and life. I am grateful for so many things this Thanksgiving. I am grateful that my mom and dad never gave up hope looking for me and for the many people that supported us through the toughest times in our lives. I am grateful for the people that, I, that all worked so hard to help find me and bring me home. My heart is full and I'm just so thankful for so many things, but most of all, I am thankful to be safe at home and finally surrounded by the people who love me. And that was by Sean. And there were his words. We did not make them words for him. How does that make you feel? Happy, satisfying, overwhelmed. Um, some of the words that just comes out of his mouth sometimes amazes me. And every day it seems like a new surprise with him. And we couldn't be happier. You looked at, uh, you paused it for a second when he brought up mom. He mentioned you specifically and the family. And uh, it's a huge, huge smile on your face. Yeah, it's just good to have him back at home where he, you know, where I can try to protect him again and, and take care of him and be around all the loving family that he has. It's just, it's just the greatest gift a person can have. And Craig, this Thanksgiving means, I mean, you can't even put it into words, even though okay. Sean did. <laughs> yeah, there's just so many things that we have to be thankful for. You know, beginning with the return of our son, a beautiful new home for us to make new memories in, um, all the way down to helping another family bring their child home for the holidays um, with the Emily Graber situation. Um, we've just been so fortunate over the years to have so many people behind us that have stood behind us, supported us, friends, family, people that we don't even know that we've never met um, still are there and continue to let us know that they're there, they've got our back, and they're completely 100% behind us. Um, it's been, you know, a really rough, difficult five years, and uh, we couldn't have done any of that without our family. Uh, our, our daughters have just been fantastic. There's never been a moment where our daughters believe that Sean wouldn't come home. They've, they've really been the, the true meaning of hope and faith. They, they never gave up hope either. They were always there with a positive word, even when, when we were downtrodden and thinking the worst. They were always there to reinforce the thought that Sean's coming home. He'll be here one day. Um, they've given us three beautiful grandchildren that just are the light of our lives. Um, our whole family from um, our parents to our cousins and extended family have, have been there every moment of, of every day to hold us up when times were tough and to rejoice with us when things went right. Um, the list of things that we have to be thankful for just goes on and on and on. Um, unlike other years, you know, in the past, this holiday, the holiday seasons were always something that we hoped would just slide by and go away. You know, we, it just wasn't the same without all of our family being there together. Um, so as a result, we never planned any holiday events. We just let them come and go. And it's really great this year to be able to plan things and, enjoy the holidays, enjoy the family getting together and not, you know, in the back of your mind, constantly thinking about that one family member that's been missing. Mm -hmm. You're doing the cooking tomorrow? Absolutely. Does Sean have a favorite or is there something he's requested for tomorrow? Or? No, he hasn't put in any special requests. Um, everybody pretty much knows it'll be the 
standard <laughs> Craig Thanksgiving, and they, they know what to expect with uh, the turkey and all the side dishes and desserts. And uh, I, I think uh, there's something for everybody normally. Um, it's just so great to be able to, to do that, to cook. Um, you know, I always was the one that cooked before, and then after Sean disappeared, I, I really quit cooking, and we, you know, ate out of the microwave. Yeah. And it's it's great to be in the kitchen and enjoy doing it again. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've really enjoyed being in the kitchen and doing that for the family. When you first read Sean's statement, I guess it was written Monday or Tuesday, mm -hmm. um, is there one, and when um, she was just reading it, was there one line or something that really stuck out to you? Um, yeah, the part about knowing that we never gave up hope, you know, that's, I know in my heart, that's really a big part of what kept Sean going. Um, he had several opportunities while he was gone to see us on television and read about us in the paper. And he knew that we weren't giving up hope and that's what gave him the strength. And I think that's a really big part of, of this whole thing. Um, when you give up hope, everybody else around you does. Uh, if you remain optimistic and keep the faith, those around you will do the same. We think that was a really big part of, of what kept Sean together through the whole situation. Yeah. And how proud you must be. It's very eloquent. I mean, that's... Oh, it is. When I, when I first read it, I made the comment that Sean didn't write this. And <laughs> we, we were actually talking about that this morning, you know, how, how far he's come. Um, it's just incredible to, to think that, you know, these are the words coming out of his mouth. And again, he wanted to issue these words. Oh, he did. He wants everyone to know how thankful he is for everything that was done while he was gone to help find him. Um, everyone that supported us and kept us going is very, very important to him. Um, you know, he's not yet at that point where he's willing to, to come in front of a camera and, and say that for himself. Uh, but nevertheless, though, that's really the way he feels. He, he is just so thankful for everything that's been done. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank, Thank you. you. You too.